I've been on, you know, kind of on the kick of doing filter projects or working out filter projects. I've worked on a few since my last video, but I decided not to go ahead with them because they weren't they weren't really what I where I wanted it to go or kind of they didn't sound it good enough to me to to make a build out of it. Um, but anyway, uh, since I was on the filter kick, I decided to go with an EQ. So this one's pretty simple. It's just a seven band EQ. Um, originally, the post that this is pretty much almost an exact replica of uh, 4QD Tex seven band EQ or RG Keen's 7 band EQ. It's closer to RG Keen's but both are almost the same. I made a few adjustments to mine. Um, first first off I didn't have any uh, single op amps. No 741 or anything like that so I put in, uh, originally put in a TL072 but I might change the op amp to a nicer one um, but anyway uh, yeah so I do also I decided to use the second op amp in my chip for gain so I added gain to it as well and just a few modifications here and there um, but yeah yeah I added uh, input but anyway this is my prototype I'm gonna start building it today uh, the final version um, but anyway uh, yeah oh sorry so here are the bands so there's 60 150 400 uh, 1k 2.5k 6k and 15k uh, if you go to 4QD's website and check out the 7 band EQ. He's got the whole equation to if you want to customize your bands. I decided not to because I don't know. The bands there are pretty nice anyway. I mean they're not tailored to any specific instrument or anything like that but they're nice. Um, anyway so here I will show you what it sounds like. Um, so turn the gain to minimum and yeah here we go so everything's pretty much even no gain on them um, you might notice a little bit of noise if I touch the pots but hopefully that's only because I'm using a shitload of wire and some connections on especially on this uh, breadboard aren't exactly the best so once it's soldered down it'll be a lot better a lot more solid um, anyway so here goes so here is gain on the 60k and down on the 60k and then back to where it was this is gain on the 150k down on the 150k and then back to normal. Gain on the 400k, down on the 400k and then back to normal. And this is gain on the 1k, down on the 1k, oh, sorry, down on the 1k and back to normal. Um, Gain on the 2.5k, down on the 2.5k, and back to normal. Uh, gain on the 6k, down on the 6k, and then back to normal. Rough. Uh, and gain on the 15k, down on the 15k, and then back to normal. And then you can get cool sounds. I like this because it kind of adds a different 
sound to, uh, for example, the chord vocal bass. Uh, yeah, so I can pretty much get a different sound than just the filter. I find the filter is kind of, uh, yeah, kind of limiting. You can only do so much. You can't adjust different areas of the sound to get what you want. Um, yeah, this is good. It's not definitely not a project to be, you know, modulated around or anything like that. But it's good to set up on the output of whatever synth you're running or anything like that. And then you can, you know, depending on what op amp you use, uh, you'll get it another different sound too. Oh, and I'll just show you gain quickly. It's the ratio I set for the game, but, uh, yeah, it's not too, too high, but it's high enough, like maybe a hundred or two hundred. Anyway, yeah, uh, I'll post another project once I'm finished building it. So, peace out. So